This is a demonstration of the pupil view when answering a typical GCSE physics question. A student holds the dome of a Van de Graaff generator. When the generator is switched on, the dome becomes negatively charged and the student's hair lifts up. Explain why the student's hair lifts up. We can see that this requires several points because there's many lines, just like in a traditional assessment. Some pupils are confident to write their answer in here and get feedback. Other pupils are less confident, and for those, we have a hint button they can click on. Hints can come with one sentence or with many. Generally, pupils will read the first piece of feedback they get and then respond to that, and so that's what we'll be doing here. What charge does the hair gain and why? We can submit our answer by clicking on the submit button, which is just off the screen at the moment. Partway there, that means we got something right. Possible spelling errors detected. Chrome's detected that as well, so we can correct that. This is faded out because we just changed our answer since we got that feedback. We can submit to get new feedback. What carries the charge from the dome to the hair? Protons carry the charge from the dome to the hair. We can also submit by pressing double enter. I prefer to do this because it's faster. We've now got a red piece of feedback. That means we weren't just missing something, but we actually wrote something wrong. No need to mention protons. Protons are always fixed in position. Objects become charged when they gain or lose electrons. So we should have written electrons. This can be easily and neatly edited, and then we could submit to get new feedback. Good. Why does the hairs having the same charge as each other cause them to stand up? That's because like charges repel, Hair gains a negative charge and like charges repel. Submit. What exactly is repelling what? So it wants us to be more specific. And so the hairs repel each other. We could say the head. Submit. Nice. Be specific about the kind of repulsion, say electrostatic repulsion or magnetic repulsion. OK, this is obviously electrostatic. They repel each other by electrostatic repulsion. Submit. Brilliant. It's correct. This green uh, correct feedback tells us that we are at the standard required to achieve full marks in a GCSE exam question. I've always taught my pupils to aim for the best possible explanation regardless of any exam. And so uh, even though they've met this uh, arbitrary standard, they get some feedback on how to further improve their answer. I'm not going to do that here in the interests of time, but I want to bring your attention to something else. Once they get the correct answer, they are uh, sometimes suggested an extension activity or video that relates to the topic that they uh, have just been answering a question on, uh, or, or it could be an article. This is to improve motivation or interest, stretch pupils a bit further, and it's also really useful when you're using these worksheets in class because pupils work at different paces and you might want all the pupils to have time to complete it. That's the end of this demonstration. Thank you for watching.